So you have a bike, and one or both wheels are off of it, and it's equipped with hydraulic disc brakes. What's the one thing you shouldn't do? Pull brakes. So now that you've pulled the brakes, I can't get my wheel in, what do I do now? Stick with us after the break, and we'll go over just that. So, we pulled the brakes without a wheel on the bike. Now, our pads are stuck together. How do we solve that? Well, Park Tool has a great tool called the PS1 Pad Spreader, and we put that tool in between those pads. It takes a little bit of wiggling. It goes in, and then you wiggle it back and forth. It pushes those pistons back into the caliper body, opens up those pads. Now you can put the wheel back in, or you can use the PS1 to reset your pads. But why did this happen? Let's take a closer look. So, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how hydraulic brakes work. You pull this lever back. This lever actuates a little push rod. It, puts it pushes on a little piston that goes past a little orifice, and then it starts to push fluid through this hose. And that fluid goes down into the caliper and it gets behind the piston and starts pushing that piston, or advancing that piston. Um, and that's what pushes pistons out. But what pushes the pistons back in? What we see here on this caliper, in here between the pads, is this pad spring. Is that pad spring responsible for pushing the pistons back in? No, no. That pad spring, its job is to keep the pads in contact with the pistons. The pistons are retracting, but why? Well, if we take a look at this little cutaway here, we can see inside of there is you have your caliper body, then you have a seal, square seal, that's important, and you have your piston, just like this. What's going on here is when you pull on that lever, it creates pressure behind it and it advances this piston. But what's also simultaneously ha happening is this piston is holding on a little bit to that seal and that seal is rolling forward and allowing that piston to move. And when you release the brake, this seal, it rolls back and it rolls that piston back into place. But what happens if you overcome the travel of this seal? Well, that's where you're going to get the adjustment, the self-adjusting properties of a hydraulic brake. So if you have a one big pull on your lever all the way to the bar, it's gonna advance that seal and that piston's gonna move past the seal. But if you feel firm, that's gonna be just pushing, rotating the seal and pulling it back. But we can't leave that job completely up to this little seal. So what helps it is the gland that it sits in. So what you'll see, if you look very carefully at this gland, is that it is not square cut. Both the back side of it is cut at an angle and the side that's closest to the pad is also cut at an angle basically giving the, the, uh, the piston seal room to flex in certain ways and not in other ways. So this little square seal and the shaping of this gland are what's responsible for making your pads self-adjust in hydraulic brake systems and also simultaneously re responsible for the frustration that you get when you advance the pistons without wanting to. So the next time your buddy pulls your brakes without you wanting him to, you know how to fix it. You also know maybe a little bit more than you wanted to about how that happens. Get out there, get your hands dirty, and we'll see you next time.